What's up everyone, Octronics, it's your back another Eureka video. In this Eureka video, well, yes, this is Eureka series, but this isn't this info garbage that I'm going to be doing. Well, I mean, even though I do have some info to do, but not doing it right now. So I brought the 11 down here just in case. So what this is going to be is the tour of the Wall of China 3. I mean 2. Why did I say 3? Three? 3 got taken down what? How much years ago? 3 now? It's probably like 3. No, like in 2020, so that's 4 now. I don't remember, but it was like 200 subscribers special. I think is when it got taken down. Either 200 or 250, I remember. I don't remember. But here's the wall. We're going to be doing another tour of this place. Now, I haven't done one for 2023, but I will be doing one for 2024. And this video is also technically part of the 750 subscriber special review of the q and I have the door bypassed, but I have the whole system armed, as you can see. For this Ademco thing. This door bypassed. But again, going to be a tour of this place. So, I'm not trying to make this extremely long, but who knows how long this is going to turn out. But what I'm going to do is I'm just give you like a quick little like walkthrough type of thing. And then I'm going to just go over everything with the camera. So... Starting over here, I'm gonna, we're going to go ahead and start this video. Actually, we'll review the garage real quick if there is anything to review in it. Oh, we got to turn off the stair lights. Yep. Might as well save a little bit of electricity. All right, here's the wall to garage. It's currently filled with my stuff and just regular trash, and it also stores a lot of TVs, and these bikes will as it's called the wall to garage because that's where all the the bikes and the electric scooters kept mostly it's just filled with junk now but yep that's the wall to garage we also have walmart 2 that was made by 3.0 right here except this used to be a shed for the wall too but as you can see i converted it I already made a video on this like a year ago or two or maybe one and a half years ago so this used to be our shed but now it's again walmart too it was just a water heater box from that water heater right there because it got replaced again like three something years ago uh it also just contains junk just a box and storage but this isn't really a store I'm planning to take this place down and maybe turn it into another shed at some point. Or maybe I could get another one of these storage unit boxes type of thing. And like make make another like door on it. And then just have a storage unit over there and just store all the all all of my stuff in there. Except right now that's storing a whole bunch of paint cans, printers paint tools like paint brushes and the the rollers and there's really nothing else in there i think it might just be paint i'm not sure oh yeah there's also walmart 2 computers in there i mean target 2 computers which target 2 is basically a store that i made in this house that so sold cardboard tech like cardboard tvs cardboard computers with the cardboard monitor cardboard keyboards cardboard mouses that type of stuff it's no longer around it got taken down in 2020 and it's been fun but target 2 is no longer a thing so yeah over here is just a whole bunch of junk over here i have these little two by fours that are cut up that are storing these basketballs there's trash back there there's these weights over there. there's plastic cups right there i have this world direct direct tv world direct satellite here 
that's just sitting here for decoration i have a 75 inch sony 4k tv from 2020 right behind here and the reason why it's back here is because the screen is cracked on it and yeah it's a bravia too as you can see right there so has the plastic wrap on it but it's already cracked it's already done for it's 75 inches again you can kind of see it over here, this box used to go with the fence, but because I've been doing some cleaning over here, I never actually got the chance to put the box back over here. I wanted to put it landscape, but I might just keep this area open at this point. I'm not sure, but there's the box for that. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Over here is just some old boxes from... The early vacuum search, late vacuum search days, which is my old channel. Uh, and in this box right here, it contains all the end series stuff where I destroy cardboard TVs and cardboard computers and all that. There used to be a big pile over here, but I already threw all of that away. So I could get this carpet back out. I carpet cleaned this carpet with that Aquamate thing, which is upstairs. I've done another room, but I still have yet to do another room. So there's... There's one of the boxes, the Aquamate boxes upstairs. Over here, again, is our storage unit. This used to be a box in Target 2. But now it's down here. And then, for some reason, there's a COVID-19 test kit over here. There's a couple of N-Series stuff. Uh, like, right here, we have pieces of iPad Smart Folio case I destroyed. A whole bunch of faceplates from a whole bunch of cardboard computers that I've destroyed. Just tons of those extra stuff down there a computer where this boomerang unfortunately got ripped apart and that was it and rca speaker that's broken because i accidentally dropped it and this is now starting to come off it as well as the edwards speaker which is in the garage which also got dropped accidentally except the speaker got blown out because it was playing low quality music there it is, but it fell off the the Walmart 2 top and the whole bottom broke off, but the speaker already died before that happened. And it actually fell off of, again, Walmart 2. So it was literally right up here, right up here on this styrofoam, right there basically. This is 3.0's testing board. It used to be a series with paper fire alarm testing type of stuff, but it's no longer updated. As you could see, this thing broke in half too. It was taped up, but it broke again. And basically that speaker just fell back here straight down to that floor. And that's where it was ended. And this broke next to the garage when I was messing around with the PO and air amp. And it basically just fell off this pile of stuff. And it just broke. So, yeah. Over here we have some paper. Uh, cords. Actually, this goes to my scanner. The Scanjet 78000, I think. This is a power supply to this desk jet. Underneath that desk jet, which by the way is a F1, F41, F4180. And then underneath those is the HP PSC 2355 series all in one. There's two of them. One of them has broken printer glass, uh, scanner glass, I mean. The other one is fully intact. But they both need ink, and I think this desk jet also needs ink. There's some more paint that would have gone in here, but it doesn't fit in there. Because there's a bunch of mini paint cans in there, so instead they're just right next to it. We have a Sony Vio box here. Above that is an Xbox One box that I still have and still use. HP DV7 box, MSI. Uh, I don't remember what the computer uh model was doesn't say it on there just says msi and then there's these this asus all all of these i actually have all these computers right here all these boxes from them and that's basically it over here see some pieces of the old uh walmart too i think it was or was it the shed i don't remember wait no it was a separate store i remember there's like a separate building over here before the shed no the shed was over here but there was actually like a separate building the fire alarm stuff is still left behind if you look behind the wall you can see it on the wall there's like 
It's like a fire alarm control panel piece of paper uh, mounted on uh, junk. And I think back here are, yep, are the strobes. Yep, there's the strobe. You can see it. So, yeah. That's not used anymore. I never took it down. just covered up with some paper. Here's the front of the wall. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on the 0.5 lens. And I'm going to just give a quick walkthrough of what the wall actually does look like. And this is just the outside. And half of it's blocked off by this Target 2, I mean Walmart 2 thing, but basically just continues down there. Now I could close the door here. I really hate this door, but soon I'm going to get a real door with these studs. Which there's the 2 by 4s are still waiting on a real door though. Here's what the wall 2 looks like now. Now, excuse me. Gonna give you a quick walk through. Yes, there's still stuff in the way, but yeah. Trash can, main trash can here. This is basically just fake tarf, grass type of stuff. Fancy carpets over here are leading the pathway, and then there's one more large one over here. Which this is usually rolled up over here, and it just stays right here. It's rolled up. So that way it exposes the concrete cement type of stuff. So that way I could use that cement for N-series and that type of stuff. Or riding around bikes and just messing around. But when there's when carpet's needed, you just roll it back out and there you go. So yeah, and then there's the second main trash can. There would have been a third one, but I moved the third one to the garage, which I'm going to show you real quick. Here it is. There it is. Third main trash can. Actually, it's not really main. It's just the third trash can. The actual, like, real main one is this one right here. So, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the door, which this is what it looks like. It's painted gray and painted white on the side. It has a little cat door that I made in it, which is starting to fall apart here. Opening up the door... As you can see, this door actually does sit flush. As you can see, it doesn't go back any more than that. So that way you could still ride bikes and stuff into here for like storage or whatever, or like carrying stuff like that. For example, that satellite dish right there. And then if I move the door out, you can see all the stuff. That's what stops the door from moving down more. And on the door, on the door, there's a little magnet contact right here that's used for the security system. And here's a here's the contact. I installed these back with the original door that was back on here. But that door broke, so I just took the magnet off it and put the magnet on this door instead. And I'm going to show you the security system later on. I would demo it, but it's currently armed. Here's the old door. And the problem with it was that it got creased and it was destroyed, basically. There it is. I still have it. You can see that it's kind of creased and you can see part of the old security system. Yes, it does have a cat door as well as a little window over there. Okay, walking back to the wall. So yeah, that's the door. Go and pick this back up. Here's the back side of the door. It's a bed box, by the way, from a bed. There's the rest of the cat house. I mean, cat door. This side actually broke off for some reason. And the door, the, the door, for whatever reason, it fell off inside here. And it's right there. I don't know why the door broke off inside there, but it did. And this is where I used to open it up, as you can see this. Because of how much times this was moved open, my thumb imprint it's on, is on it now. And this door kept on moving around, so I actually punched it once. So, yeah, because I ha had enough of it jumping around. This is basically what it was doing. That was off camera, though. Yep, exactly like that. And it got this later on. Self-locking door again, but yeah. Here we are inside. So over here on this side of the door, this is the wall. This is the part of the wall that falls the most. 
As you can see, I tried to support it, but this box is bending, and this box has to get changed out. Over here, I secured this part a little bit more, though. And again, we have some stuff out, out here, some decoration pieces. And again, this is actually real. I'm being used against armed. Uh, going inside, there's tons of trash on the floor over here. Like, in between these doors, or I mean, in the doorway, there's, like, crumbs and junk and plastic and trash. Like, pieces of paper and junk. Is that a receipt? There's, like, a receipt on the floor, too. That's the cardboard from the laminate flooring. Which, by the way, I actually got more. There is. I'm gonna be getting even more, though. There's three boxes sealed, by the way. So, this place is not the cleanest right now, but it is good enough. So, in 2024, I finally decided to organize the back of the wall here and clean up all these boxes, which freed up this much space, which I hold even more of a even more of my stuff like my the satellite dish this box has to go though and then another storage area in this wall is back here with that broken chair that's still not thrown out a couple of extra boxes some tools and some old right there some old vacuum search stuff as well also early electronic search stuff so circa 2018 2019 or probably early 2019 i don't know Here's these vacuums. I don't know how much there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then that vacuum thing. So thirteen plus the other two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I just counted that one. And then technically, temporarily, that uh, rainbow, so 16 vacuums in total, actually, in this household, which is kind of crazy. There might be more, there might be less, I'm not sure, I, I might have counted it wrong, because this technically is not a vacuum. This is a carpet cleaner, the rainbow is also a carpet cleaner, well, no, because it has uh, vacuum attachments to it, so not really. And then that's a map. Here's the security system. It's a, a Demco Vista 10 SE. See the back of batteries right there. Original one's dead. So over here in this main area, we have a painty furnace, which is the old furnace in this house. It broke down, and the only reason why it still exists over here, again, the new one's right there. The only reason why it exists in this house is just to be used as parts, as well as just a tv stand here for this cracked 46 inch sony bravia from 2007 maybe 2006 i'm not sure it has the ps3 menu ui on it and the speakers sound really good right there's a subwoofer keep hearing noises not sure why right here's a table for my gaming chair that I just grabbed the cardboard box from and just put it over here to act as a table. We have extra junk, more junk, food, tools back there, trash in there, trash right there, some extra remotes, uh, air purifier down there for some reason with the bag off of it. Not sure why. More vacuum search stuff right there. More vacuum search right there. I mean vacuum search stuff right there. Again, the satellite dish, all these vacuums, some dumbbells for N-Series, again, that subwoofer. Styrofoam seats with the microwave on top of it. Uh, cousin art or whatever. Coffee maker. And back there, a vintage uh, Osterizer, which the glass part of it is back here. Due to obvious reasons. I don't want that to fall and crack and break. Especially there's concrete over here, so it's really easy. So far, it has not fallen yet in three-something years. Again, happened a lot of stuff happened here. This TV screen's really dirty, but whatever. Over here, we have a whole bunch of TV stuff. Even more COVID test kits for some reason. I've been here for like two years. Supposed to be for this mail or whatever. Samsung Chromebook, that 3.0 cent uh, back in 2020. Cardboard 4K Joey. The dish got taken down. The dish... Oh, there's still... There's still stuff from it. Still have the dish. And then the... 
the Wally, which was the after the Hopper 3. All that stuff is back there, and here's the satellite dish. The LNB is folded up. You can see it right there. There you can see the HD part. It's a thousand dot two Western Arc, or at least what it's mimicking. So yeah, that's this back area. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This video is an HDR, by the way, too, so it's gonna look a little bit better. So yeah. We have a whole bunch of old stuff that's up here on this wall. It's been up here for a really long time, and nothing really has been added to it. Here is basically a table full full of a whole bunch of stuff. And then here's the main table where I do most of the work in this wall. This thing used to be outside the wall, back in that corner over there where those paint cans are. Right there. That was early eureka series with the wall still not built where we still did vacuum ball and that type of stuff zone one old oh so i guess i did mark those down interesting uh where did i where did i leave off at oh yeah hold on give me a sec uh we'll we'll do this area now so back here where the wall is this is where the trash can would be there's trash whole bunch of shoes uh, another box this is the old fridge i think and this is the new fridge box i think this yep this is from the where the dish sack came from is this open of course it's open i'm gonna get ants in here bro we have some more bissel parts technically these are also vacuums but not really they're really just parts of it and i took both of these apart a long time ago and I only kept the plastic Power Force stuff from it. Got junk. Maybe a shop vac attachment. I'm not sure. Another one. Dyson DC-50 attachment. Which, which there's the DC-50. Uh, old uh, Target 2 stuff. Got some barrels right there. Got two more barrels back there, by the way. Over here... Sorry about that fan turning on. Back here we got more more stuff. It's another folder. Documents in there. Vacuum bags, which this box is really old. I think there's still one in there. Yep, there's still one in there. And those are for that thing. That Hoover Quick and Light. I mean, that Hoover Elite Energy Efficient from 1992. It's the oldest vacuum I have. The newest one I have is that Shark. It's not down here, but that Shark Stick vacuum uh that dual clean vertex power fin or whatever corded stick vacuum so yeah over here we just have this the dyson dc 50 box whole bunch of junk shoe stand with a whole bunch of shoes in it more shoes down there basically just shoe storage 32 inch visu that's cracked that would would get destroyed i'm not sure that rainbow box is temporary boxes extra stuff more shoes for some reason over here is just stored stuff so like junk there's an extra panel here's the other one for the simply safe stuff got some extra decorations here this led light actually used to be up in this wall for a really long time and it actually lasted quite a bit it's a really good bulb so that's why i kept it the other one's back here it's the original one i think it fell and it stopped working or whatever Got some pieces from a DVD player that was destroyed in this wall. Back on that special Eureka series that's really old now. You can see part part of the wall part of the wall, excuse me, again. Got some N series stuff from those styrofoam TVs or whatever. Not sure where the black piece went. It was over here. Probably fell back fell down there. Again, that glass thing from that blender, fake security camera box, which I'm not sure where the camera thing went. Got some ILO stuff. Shampoo for some reason is back here. Uh, cardboard fire alarm. And more shoes for some reason. A Demco box. Or, I mean, a bo shipping box that the Ademco keypad shipped in. That The one that's on the wall. Again, old vacuum search stuff. Stuff. Old floodlight that I still have yet to do a video on. Flashlight tools and junk. 
broken chair, boxes, boxes, 40 inch Luxia TV stand, more stuff. That box contains even more shoes. That box contains even more shoes. Canon S630 printer. Front panel of the OnQ. Got an Apex TV slash monitor. And there's the Bane Breaker box. Here's the here's my satellite stuff. So this is from the Dish series and junk. And there's the Adumco panel again. Carbon monoxide alarm, which is for some reason up there. That's the wall one. There's the wall I-9060 smoke detector, which I replaced the battery in not too long ago. Maybe like two months ago or something like that. Man, I don't want this stuff to get loose. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. Try to put it back there or something like that. We have a we have a Sansui Calm 311ADB. CRT TV from February 2002. Let me try to get that label. There you go. It's a 13 inch uh, VCR combo CRT. It still works. It's used whenever, basically. Got some dusty VHS tapes. I'm not sure if they have anything on them, but they've been down here for a really long time. Got some Acatel phones from 3.0. We got a toaster bell from a toaster oven that got taken apart, and I kept the bell from it. Again, that's the backup battery for the security system. Over here, as you can see, I painted this wall gray as well as part of the other one. And back there, it actually says ES Wall 2, I think, or Wall of China 2. So, here's the paint stuff. Now, this whole wall isn't painted. Back here is... What's it called? Back behind that box, it's not painted over there. That, the reason for that was to save paint. But yeah, that's basically everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. The lighting might be worse in this area because it's far from the light bulb then. Show you this place. The wall breaker box, by the way. I have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Fire alarm security system, this thing that's old, that thing, some fragile stickers, I, iPad Pro thing, the a reminder for to make the thumbnails that's really old now for N series where again I destroy cardboard trash. Let me put that up there. See, I always reach down for that transformer. I never fix these wires, but I have to. Uh, main wall fire alarm. There's another one. There's the actual panel. Stuff is really old, but. There's what it looks like. Oh yeah, forgot this. This is from a TV. Cardboard TV that was destroyed for 500 subscribers special. I think it was that insignia or whatever. Here's this place. And that's basically it. So yeah. There it is. Wall China Tour. Well, it's not really called Wall of China anymore. It's mostly just called Wall 2. It's better. It's shorter. Let me see if I messed up the battery. Hopefully I didn't. No, I did not. Okay, good. There it is. As you can see, you can peek in through there and junk. Again, this is why I need a better door. But yes, you can peek in through there if you want to. All right. Here's the outside area again of this place. And yeah. So that basically wraps it up. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Again, this is the Wall of China Tour. Wall of China 2 Tour 2024. I might just put Wall 2 Tour 2024, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Again, that wall tool's over there. I mean, wall tool garage. See, so turn the lights off. You can see the keypad backlight over there. If I can zoom into it. But yeah. Got some old Nesper Tex Gen 1 up there. 
again this garage area but yeah that wraps it up thanks for watching see you guys later and goodbye